welcome to part three of this series for, for the City Skylines map editor. Now, in the last part, we shaped out the main structures of these rivers. They're not finished, it's just the, the main form that I wanted to get. And you can see there's a little, been a little bit of flooding over here caused by the sea level bit being readjusted but that will go away it's not a problem and off camera what I've actually done is I've tidied up some of these edges they're not perfect because they need to be flattened you can see I've flattened this area a little bit as part of the process and basically I've just gone through I've tidied up the edges away from the building area so it's just been mainly these coastlines here. In this part we're just going to pick up from where we left off in the previous episode but working up in this area here. If I click on the water you'll see if you look through the water there's this area which is kind of submerged here yeah. and what I want to do I'm happy with the water level if I click back here I'm, I'm happy with this level of water not so much on these islands so it's gonna we're gonna pick up on the same principle as what we used in part two to mark out the edges the difference is that I'm actually going to use the water level to pick up these edges so that's where we're gonna start off with so exactly the same way as before it's mainly this coastline that I'm interested in this one here this area here I can take back to the cliffs so what I want really looking for is a, is a kind of craggy cliff type view here feeding into this kind of little bit of a natural lake here which probably I could take out a little bit so I think we'll start here and you can see the water level if I click here the, the, the water level is very very shallow so I'm going to use the same principle again, just going to pick up the trees, drop the brush deck to single, single tree, and we're just going to mark the edge, the water line here, it doesn't have to be precise, as I say I'm just going to I won't time lapse this bit because it it shouldn't take that long because I'm just going to put a little bit in here. This edge again I'm going to make nice and craggy. There's a little bit of an edge there. I mean again it's not going to be the I think actually I think what I'm going to do here is maybe just bring it up here put mark out this island I think oh, maybe this let's have it as two separate islands so maybe just cut in here and maybe a small third island there Although, to be honest, doing that gap there could prove tricky. And we'll just, I think we'll get rid of these trees. I think I will cut this back to that line here. Now I'm just going to carry on marking this edge here. I say, what I'm I'm trying to get is is a waterline because on this coastline I want a, a mixture of hard cliff like things and sloping beaches not that we'll be able to build on these beaches but, mm, but I think we're just whack the trees along here So it doesn't have to be precise. Maybe we'll just keep this small island here. 
It's a little, uh, it's a bit underwater already, so I think we won't bother with this island that can go. So we'll just create a, a little bit of a headland here, and these these will be possible rivers. So I'm just going to mark there, I'll mark the edge of the. This can come round here. This can come out here. So say it's just kind of come along here. Oh no. It's probably taking a little bit longer, but I'm nearly there, guys. So, but you can see you can use this to capture a waterline. This is a very, very good te technique for capturing detail using trees. It's a very, very useful idea. So there, we'll just kind of go out round this edge here. Just come out a little bit there. I think that's enough for this little bit of an edge here, but I think I can kind of cut through this. There, so I think this will be a hard edge. I think that's that's gonna do, so We've now got our line, and what I'm going to do now is basically here set the sea level to zero, and the water will go away. And you can see now we can we've got the hard line here. Obviously, I've lost this edge, so I might have to. Hmm, didn't realise that would be a problem. So I think we're going to have to put the sea level back in again. What I'm going to do with this is, I want it to be craggy, so what I'm going to do is just take this tool. No, actually, I'm going to leave that for the moment. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just set the sea level back to zero. I can always clear this edge up. What I'm going to do now is just going to take this. Now, if I click here, you will see this is actually above height. So, what I'm actually going to do is just get a nice big brush. Don't want substantial strength. And we're just going to... Oh, wrong tool. It's better. I'm just going to... Kind of... Cut me way through here. You can see I'm just affecting the... The brush strength is a bit. Uh, we use the. We can just kind of edge off this piece here. I can I can do this bit here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go right to the edge to start with, because I have an an idea of what I want to do. So I'm just going to come in here, chop the brush size down. You can see that. So I want this area to be pretty flat. So I'm just going to leave that area, reduce the brush size again. Control Z to remove unwanted. So I'm just going to cut through here as I say I would do the, uh, yeah you can see the bit of height growing now so I think we've got a a little bit of a cliff edge here so I think I can do this edge this area oh it's, it's cut in a little bit so I think I can drop the bus size right down nice and small 
that I can cut in here. I think you're getting the ideas now. So what I'm going to do now is is time lapse this. So see you in a minute. Oh well, welcome back. Uh, you can see I've now sculpted out the main deep areas and what I'm going to do now is put the water back. Um, I'm just going to go to 39 meters and we'll just... you can see the, the river's back and what I'm going to do is just clean up this inside edge so we're going to have to kind of look for there's a little bit of an, an edge in here probably just take out that bit there just you can flip between the water and then you can see the lower edge here we've got a little bit of a problem here do we make this into a bay? yeah why not cut that in a bit. You've got to be a bit careful when you edit in the water like this because what will actually happen is if you, you see you will see the water flowing in which means the so if I go in like that that's probably not a particularly very good example but you will see the water actually flowing into the gaps that will actually distort the level which is another reason why I've used trees to mark out the edges got less edge here, just have a quick look up here right so that's that bit now, now what I'm going to show you now is we're going to remove the water again I'm sorry, it's, it's, so we've now the river's gone and what I'm going to do now is these, this side here, especially running up into this river estuary here, I want a slope. So what we're going to do is go to the editing tool. I'm going to start with a sm reasonably small brush. So to use the slope tool to create a beach effect, what you do is you go there, you come here, and you can just see, see the slope. And you can, it will grow out so far, but eventually you will have to we take up a, a point. So we're just going to click here, bring out here. When it's not going to be 
perfect in the sense of we're just going to slope in this way you can see we've got a little bit of a there but we can strike off a point here and just trim this back a bit probably take this back to the cliff and this has got a kind of a cliff edge effect and then we can go back to the slope tool click there and just brush in this area and do we need it no I don't think maybe we, we actually need it so we can just trim this back a bit underwater we're really interested in this slope effect here probably a little bit too steep actually so we can then use the smoothing tool so you can see we're starting to get the effect of a beach so that rather than a, a high cut off I mean I, I will go over it again I mean you can do it this way as well see so maybe this is a better way to do it actually so we can just smooth in there he's, he's a fairly smooth come up here I mean you need to take the water away obviously because otherwise it will so we can just smooth off this so you can get a nice beach effect here and you can just bring it up here maybe just blend it a little bit into here and across here as well like this now this section I, I definitely want to use the slope tool because I want oops control Z probably that's a bit high so if I click there and start here this wall taking a slope up here and maybe if I click there and drag up this way that will get a little bit of a curve there we can finish it off with and just drag up this here so we can finish it off with the the reason I'm using the slope tool here is I can go back to this and just smooth off around the edges because there'll be rivers coming down here and I want the flow to run out into the bay so we're just going to drop this down here a bit smooth this through here I mean we'll, we'll be cutting a channel as well just so that the river runs but that would be in another part you can see the beginning of the channel there so I can maybe just kind of smooth in a bit there make the brush a bit bigger maybe soften it a little bit now I mean you can just experiment with this I mean it's, it's almost therapeutic doing this so we get a nice kind of curved edge there can come up here probably make the brush a bit smaller again we'll just take off this edge here smooth it down brush a lot lot smaller so we can just smooth in that area there mm, not happy take a line here just cut in a bit better like that I, I think that'll be that will make it better because one of the problems with the smoothing tool is if I click here you will see that it actually lifts the surface of the water so I mean there might be you know you might be able to if you really want to recut the channel you can just stroke the brush through like this because the smoothing tool both lifts and so we can just when it will be below the water and then we can just, just brush over the top like that a bit just uh, take the hard edge off 
maybe a little bit along here again. And what we're going to do now is just go up to, I think, we've done that area there, we've done that area there, we just need to do this area here. And this is again, this is one area where I really want to use the slope tool again. Because I want a pretty hard, just beyond it. Just run it up. So I want a, a fairly steep slope up here to, to contain this water here. So we're just going to just run it up here and re redo this bit here. And then we're maybe up here and just edge off this piece here. Then we're just brush over this to give it a little bit of a, a smoother edge. I think that's good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring the water back in again and just see what it looks like. Because obviously, oops, a daisy. Oh, big mistake there. I mean, we will be blending these coastlines in. You can see the water's come up here quite nicely. Probably could do with maybe cutting this in a little bit. Maybe making the beginnings of a stream. Come in here, just make the brush size a little bit. So you see the water flowing in here, and that will affect the, the level. So we're just going to we bring this stream in like that so we can we can do the levels for the rest there just have a quick look round yep, I'm happy with that, what do you think? probably this edge here needs a, a little bit of extra work comes across here, that's okay, maybe just zap in that a little bit, see the way the water sloshes, the water's very very realistic in this game, it's, I must admit, some of the best water I've ever encountered in a game, it actually does act like water, I think if we give this brush a, a quite a lot of strength as we come in, that will give it a um, so we can have a quick. Yeah, that's okay. Got a little bit of a pocket here. I think we'll do the opposite here. We'll come up here and we'll just lift the water the surface up a bit. Mm. This is actually underwater, so. I think what we're going to do is come here, take the strength off the brush fairly hard and just maybe just bring this up a little bit, create a little bit of a headland. Yep, happy with that. So, what do you think guys? Looks good. And I think I'm just going to tidy up now. I think this is where I'm going to keep this because I do want to keep these episodes really short and specific to a single point. But I think that's a good example of how you can use the water levels to gauge the size of your lake. Just have a nice zoom out, you can see. We've now got this nice river lake up here which hopefully will provide entrance we can have a quick check because with ships you've got to be able to yeah can, so we could bring a and we can get a 
this is the way you lay a shipping channel. We'll do this in detail. I'm just checking because if we're here, oops, it's the space already occupied. See the area alongside it. That has to be over the water. So, and actually, while we're at it, I'll just have a quick check here. So you can see there's a possible problem here. You can see this is water required. Because what I would like is for this to come up. This is, I say this isn't going to be the, because what I'd like to do is to have this come up here, say, something like that. But I would also like it to come up here, so this is water required, so, so it looks like we can come in there. So it looks like we're going to have to maybe widen this little bit here a bit so just take the brush here 1.6 meters 1.34 that would be okay and I think we're just take this back I presume the shaded area probably represents the turning circles of the ships, so it needs. So we're just going to widen this area up here. It's probably a bit wider there. Could probably nip that off here, curve this up here. This is the actual. This is actually the docks of Southampton. Here, this very straight area here. This bit here is actually the container port. Just going to. Yeah, there's a pretty rough area here that needs to be cleared out, so what we're going to do is drop the sea level to there, uh, pause the game. We'll just go back to here. Increase the brush strength a bit. Too weak, really. For I'm just, I mean, I'm not in saying that people. I mean, people could build a dock anywhere they want. It's up to them. It's, it's just that. Uh, just kind of clear this area out a bit. But this is all part of the process of what I've said before that. The map has to be playable. Yeah, if it's not playable, then so I'm going to give these these this area a pretty hard edge to represent the docks because, as I say, these are actually docks in real in real life. These are actual docks up running up here. This dock area here running up this area. And I say we'll just take these out. So we'll just tidy off this area here and we'll put the water back in. And pause the game, the water's back. I say we're just gonna have a, another quick check. Why does it say slope's too steep? So you could just squeeze. I, I don't know if that's legitimate. I would say we'll have to prove it with the play testing. Don't know whether you can do something like that, or whether the boats will only come up this far. Because I don't think you can. I don't think these can overlap. Actually, let's give it a go. This is, uh, this is the
No, so it looks like it's. I suppose what we could do is. I don't know if this is. of building roads it's almost giving me withdrawal symptoms we could almost do something like that I think if you do this I don't know whether you could do something like that and then just to make it look good something like that and then what you could do is sorry I'm just fiddling guys but I mean you can there is a you could do a curve tool make it look really good of editing range so I could do something like that. Oh I won't do any more. This is so we can have four ship connections. So this one's just come sit I'm sure it says in and out, isn't it? Yep. But as I say, I will do some play testing, and then you could have the other one come out this way, so you could actually actually have the effect of the chips coming in and out of port. I don't know whether. Oh yeah, they will overlap. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna have some fun with this anyway. <laughs> that's for another map, another time. Sorry, not another map. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna save this export this back out here, remember the problem I had in the previous part, so I'm just going to do that and of course we need to make the trees disappear so what we're going to do is press escape load water side and that's going to bring this back, I'm going to pause the map for there, you can see we're now back to here what I'm going to do, whoops, nope, I'm going to import there we are, we've got the nice smooth terrain, no trees to delete, and no shipping lanes as well. So if I go to here, set the sea level, the sea level's already set to 40, raise it up, and un press the game. Why didn't it reset the sea level? Yep. There we are. And you can see that because I've changed the level between the maps the water's flowing in here you can just see it flowing in so whenever you do it you, can, you need to jack the speed up a bit give the water a chance to settle down probably even more dramatic up here yeah you can see it's the water's really sloshing about about here it's you can see there's like mini tidal waves and it's rushing up into this area here you can see it there so when you're working with water you definitely need to let it settle down otherwise you can see there it's it's kind of sloshed up this slope here but what will happen is eventually it will slip back again um. yeah I'm quite happy what I might do with the test play is try and build a port here because obviously this is on the edge of the map so if you were playing 25 tiles I might put a, a shipping link in here so that, so, so that somebody who wants to play on the f we go up to the full 25 map you could build a port here you should be able to squeeze one in there we'll do some test play but obviously the main 
port area will be here. And I think that's enough for this part. Um, yeah, I, d I want, do want to, as I said before, <laughs> I get so distracted when I play this. This is fair. I'm going to stop fid flicking as well. I've got to stop, learn to stop doing that. Yeah, so I've, I hope you found this useful and it's been, if it's inspired you to have a go at making a map, I ho hope it does, you know. And we've now reached a point, I think, now where we're going to be working on a single map. I think we've done enough of the main structural parts now to start looking at this as a as as a map and start working on the details which will be in the next part so until the next time like and subscribe and above all enjoy your gaming